Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing. Today I'm coming to you with a project, the very first project for the new I Am Grateful journal, which is my um, gratitude journal. Um, it is actually the first gratitude journal I've ever done or kept. And this actual this journal is actually for me. Um, it'll be the first time that I'm actually using one. So I'm super excited about that. I'm using My Porch Prints Almost Autumn kit in, uh, for this journal. Uh, primarily, I think I'm going to use some of the other kits that uh, from My Porch Prints that tie into the color scheme and things like that. But today we're going to make a folio. And I watched a video of this and off the top of my head, I cannot remember the person, but I will be sure to link the video in the description below. Um, it'll probably be a little bit rough because I didn't really do a prototype. I just kind of cut all my papers, thought the process through, but I know how I work and I usually get a little bit uh, turned around. And so I hope that you'll be patient with me as I do that. Um, it is um, after work today and so Again, that's always kind of um, a tricky thing to try to pull my brains together to do a video on a work night, but I do need to just get it done. So I'm going to go ahead and just go for it. And we're just all here just creating, being imperfect. And um, so if it gets too tedious or too um, long, you can, you know, speed it up, mute me or, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, I will determine how this goes in terms of whether I do a part one and a part two as we move through the video. So um, this is what it's going to look like. This is actually um, this is actually the front. I did that backwards. This is the front. So it's going to wrap around it. I've got everything stapled or not stapled in paper clipped in. So I'm not going to open it completely until I I start setting these pieces aside so I know where everything goes. So, but basically it folds like this. This is the way it's going to open and then it's got to flip out here on the back. So, um, beautiful kit. Really, really excited to use it. So, I doubt, I really doubt that we're going to be able to do a lot of decorating in it. Um, just getting it to put together is probably going to be quite a feat. So, I'm going to go ahead and just open it up. This is the front side, uh, panel one two and three, which is what I'm calling it, right, middle, and left. So I'm going to start kind of disassembling so that I can, we can start gluing things together. So I'm just going to set this one aside. This is the right side pocket um, so that I can talk with you about the construction of the actual um, envelopes themselves. So that is right side, um, that's actually right side uh, front. We want to make sure that we get that on there. And then this is middle pocket. So I've pulled the ephemera. Um, I will probably, um, I'll probably add to it or you know change it. But this is just kind of a rough start. And again, this is um, front. So we've got that. <clears throat> and then we've got our um, far left, which is our envelope pocket. And or this is the the stuff for the inside of the envelope pocket. So I'm going to try to paper clip that together too. And that is also um, front. I was kind of designing this or, or kind of cutting my stuff last night. Again, it was a work night. So I came back today to review it, learn some things that I could have done differently as I watched the video again, the tutorial that this gal did um, again. So, um, so I'm going to turn this over so that I can get the ephemera off of the back um, without totally messing everything up. It's already falling off because I released the paper clips on this side. So I'm going to turn that over. There we go. And so over here we've got our uh, vellum pocket um, right side. So this is the back. I'm going to put back on this. So that is that. And then we're going to take this. I cut a vellum pocket, but I'll show you some of the ephemera that I pulled as we do this. I might leave it being a longer video. We'll see how I feel about that as we go along. This is the other pocket. So this is the um, the back middle pocket. It actually fell from here, so it goes right here. Just go ahead and paper clip. This is the way I do work. I work the best is just to kind of put all the pieces together and put a note on it so that I can keep track. And then this is the this is the ephemera for the, the pumpkin pocket, I'm calling it. So that is that. I'm going to go ahead and paper clip that. And this is also on the... 
ah, on the back. <laughs> And again, we probably won't get uh, the ephemera done today. I would really doubt it. I'll probably do a part one and a part two. So now just the basic pieces are here. So um, this is going to be the, and this might be useful to you. It might not be just to kind of see how the stuff can be organized so that you can keep track. Um, so this is the piece I could have done in an easier way. And I'll probably do that different next time. But, and then I, accidentally cut it and it was printed on the other side I didn't realize it so, so this is the inside envelope um, um, front left envelope as I'm getting clearer about this <clears throat> so we're gonna set that aside <laughs> good thing I have lots of room and this is my middle panel so this is middle front panel and I'm going to cover uh, some of the, these spaces I'm going to cover completely so we're going to put them over there and hopefully I can just keep those like that until we start putting this together so that they don't get mixed up taking off all the paper clips that are going to make that other side fall off and then this is the back uh, full um, this is the far right piece there we go so that's that and let's see if we can turn this over it's now going to be falling apart a little bit there we go um, and my uh, timer is going off on my stove so hang on one second guys okay I'm back I forgot I had put uh, dessert in the oven or in the oven so so now I flipped it over and this is our back so this is back left panel. So I'm going to put that over there in that order as well. This is our middle panel. I think I already wrote on this one. Oh, no, I didn't. Middle, back. These are coffee stain. These are double printed just because that's the way I print my kits these days. So it's kind of wasteful, but it is what it is. This is my little uh, piece for the the top I, I forgot to do one here so I'll have to go back and do that but not a big deal and then this is our our far right back right back um, far right there we go so now let's talk about the construction itself it's not too complex but we're gonna start by turning this over um, hang on this was my second full cover so which was my front <laughs> oh goodness gracious I just turned those over and I probably shouldn't have but um, it doesn't really matter so this is going to be our um, our first flap so this is the top flap that everything's going to fold into so we're going to go ahead and glue this here I believe it was or maybe it was under I don't think it really matters but I'm going to go and I did score this um, and I hope that you'll go check out the people that actually created this but I scored mine just kind of guessed and I just made a second score line about an eighth of an inch just to allow a bigger uh, bigger fold over there so I'm going to go ahead and glue this to that here in just a second after I show you how this works and then this one is going to go this way and it's going to be the piece that folds under I want to make sure I've got the biggest I think actually this is the supposed to be the front nope I guess it doesn't matter doesn't matter so this one's going to go like this we'll talk about it as I glue too so that we don't confuse I don't confuse you any more than I'm already confused so I've got my art glitter glue and I'm taking this darn little rubber thing off because I love this little glue bottle but oh my gosh that thing is such a pain so we're going to start by gluing this flap to the back of this envelope. So I'm just going to put my glue here. These are just regular cropped envelopes, I believe. I probably got them at Hobby Lobby or something. But um, you can use whatever size you want or, you know, again, obviously any product that you want. This is just what I've decided to do. 
So there we go. And we're gonna go ahead and just set this on here. And I'm trying to leave a little bit of a gap there so that um, we've got some room for that to open and close without getting too bulky. I'm gonna try to slide that a little bit. Oh, bit's already stuck. That's our glitter glue for you. That's okay. I'm going to turn it over and see if I've got glue seepage. Looks good. So I'm going to turn that back over. And now we're going to go ahead and glue. Uh, I probably should have put my other stuff together, but it's okay. We're going to muddle through this, guys. And then this one is going to go this way so that it flips to the back. So I'm going to go, I'm just going to. Um, I'm going to do this. This will probably be the easiest way for me to keep it straight. So I'm going to put glue on this flap and glue it to this edge. Um, the gal that created this, she actually watched a couple of other creators do it. And so I didn't check out their videos. Um, the gal I watched was really learning and experimenting kind of how I am. So you could certainly, I'll see if I can find out who they were so you guys can watch maybe a clearer video than mine. I just thought I'd, I wanted to create it and I just love just, just taping while I do this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fold that over. I wanna make sure I've got a good gap there. There we go. I don't care about perfection or perfect edges or anything like that. So there we, we have that. So now what we have is we have this folio that's going to fold open like this and it's going to open like this. So um, so we're gonna start by putting our papers on. And so I decided I'm gonna cover up this space. I don't ne necessarily care about that, um, that spot. So I'm gonna grab my middle front panel, which is this one, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. I am, I think what I'm gonna do really quick, guys, if you don't mind, is I'm gonna go ahead and do my inking of all of these pieces and then I will speed or I'll cut that out and then I'll be back with you. Okay, I think we're good to move on. If I need to do more inking, we will. So I'm gonna start by again by putting on this middle panel just because I just want to cover that up. I did go kind of small with my papers because um, I wanna have plenty of room for these folds to happen and I, I'm not really experienced at doing this kind of a folio that's going to be a little bit bulkier in that it's going to have quite a bit of ephemera and journaling cards and things like that so I want to make sure that we we have enough room space there for that to close so I'm just going to get all this glue on here I think I'm going to get the big gl art glitter glue for the bigger spaces though because that could take forever a little guy so I've got the regular glue here in the bigger bottle, which I can get a little bit more on faster. It doesn't have to be so precise. There we go. So we're gonna go ahead and put this panel on the middle section, just paying attention to the writing so that it's not upside down. I'm just gonna slide that on and hopefully get it reasonably situated here. Pull. Again, I, I am not aiming for perfection, especially in junk journaling or, or, you know, handmade journaling. I don't care. And I am a perfectionist, so <laughs> that's saying something. So my camera seems to be moved. There we go. So let's go ahead and put this one on as well, just because um, it, this is the more complex one, the, uh, this open envelope. So I'm going to go ahead and do this as well. Gonna go with the little applicator around the edges. Straight, straightish. Nobody's gonna be examining it. There we go, just gonna give that a good squish there. Get all that glue down. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to kind of slide this over so that I can get to this space over here. So what I did, which I did the hard way, I actually uh, cut this and then I did something else to cut it off and it was just like, 
way harder than it needed to be. I can't remember if it was, I only went back and redid one of these pockets. The other one I left, I think this one I left as the original, which I didn't need to cut it. I could have just, you know, I could have just, I could have done it differently. <laughs> I guess is what I'm saying. So we're going to go ahead and glue this one on first and it's going to go under this flap to cover up that cardstock, that craft, craft paper look. So it's just going to tuck in there. So I'm going to go ahead and use my glue here. Give that a press. That's just to disguise that brown paper and I'm just going to put my finger in here to make sure I don't have anything sticking. And then we're going to put this piece on here. Okay, so we're going to turn that over and get this stuck on, hopefully, again, relatively straight. I'm mostly concerned about making sure it is very lined up on that edge, and it looks really good. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a press. And hopefully you can fudge it a little bit. Give it a good press. Oh, this is looking beautiful. This paper is gorgeous. I'm not very fond of, I'm not, I don't like fall at all, which is partly why I'm doing this journal and I'm calling it, I'm doing an autumn theme um, because autumn and fall are my, fa are my hardest season, is my hardest season. So I'm really going outside of my comfort zone to do this because I don't, I don't typically do art for seasons like this. So um, so I like, I guess I say all that to say I love the muted colors here. I love that they're not the traditional orange and black and, you know, all of that. I don't care for that. So I'm going to go ahead and also glue this on, but I forgot to ink it. So let me do that really quick here and then we can go on. We're doing okay so far. So good. I think I'm probably going to, you know what, we probably need to pause here and decide on a closure. I didn't think about a closure here. I should probably put some kind of a circle here. Um, I'm going to pause the camera real quick, guys. Um, forgive me for that. And I'm going to find an eye. I'm going to find something to attach here. Okay, I'm back. I didn't want to have to have you guys watch me do all that because I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do but what I did is I cut a piece of cardboard and then I cut two circles um, using the paper and then I'm going to go ahead and use that as a button closure so I'm going to go ahead and ink this really quick before we move on and I found a brad that's really pretty that I thought would be fun here so um, it needs to go on this side so I'm thinking I actually have to use, I have to cut a piece for this too because I'm not going to be able to move on. I should have thought of that. Goodness gracious. I'm just going to keep the camera on. You guys can see the struggle. The struggle is real. Right? I've got a piece right here. I'm just going to cut it really quick and then we will be on our way. It's, it's nice to not, um, I mean, I'm a perfectionist, so I really like to cut out the hard stuff, but at the same time, I know that it's valuable for people to see how we work through those things uh, on camera. And it's not that I, I'm afraid of people seeing it, I just don't want people to get discouraged or confused or those kinds of things through all of the blundering here. But I'm just going to cut that out really quick. I had remembered last night before I went to bed that I hadn't cut this piece and then I I didn't come back and to do it. There we go. And let's see here. Okay. 
that was easy peasy. I'm gonna ink that really quick too. So that is good. So we're gonna go ahead and glue this on here so that we can put our um, put our button closure on. That looks actually really pretty there. It's a little bit off. I wonder why that's off. That was weird. Huh, very interesting. Um, I'm gonna just go with it. I'm not gonna worry about it. I don't wanna keep having to cut new ones, so. It's, this is for my journal. Obviously, if you were concerned about it because you're gonna sell it, then you know obviously we'd wanna take greater care in those details. But this is my journal, and I this is the first time I'm creating one of these, so I'm just gonna go with it. I'm gonna be flexible. That's our, uh, our motto at work. I work in special education, and we have so much change and so many obstacles, and we're just always like, okay, I'm just going to be flexible. It's <laughs> the motto, be flexible. So there we go. So that's good enough for me. So now we're going to go ahead and punch a hole in this so that, um, well, we're going to punch a hole in this. Hopefully it's not too thick for me to do that. So let's see, I've got my, it's, this is just one of the little kind of a micro punch because I don't want too big of a hole. I don't need, well, I probably do need a bigger hole because this is the brad that I'm using. I probably do need a little bit bigger hole. I just thought that was pretty. Let me get my regular size. It won't go anywhere, so it's there's no harm in, in doing it this way. So I'm just gonna try to get in the middle as best I can. Again, perfection is not, is not necessary. Um, this is probably, the glue is probably a little bit wet, so that's okay. So now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to try to use my, um, my punch here while it's on here. Not to punch all the way because it won't go through, but to at least kind of get it in the area. It looks about even to me. Actually, let me just draw a little circle there. That will probably be easier. And then we can punch our hole here. Hopefully I can see that good enough. I already lost it. <laughs> Where did our hole? There it is. It looks like it's part of the writing. I'm just going to punch a hole there. There we go. So now we can go ahead and put our closure on. Our uh, eyelet. I should probably just leave that over there. And the brad is right here. So I'm just going to push that through there. Actually I probably should um, I don't want to glue it on all the way. Uh, let's see how tight this will actually close on it. Um, it's probably going to be fine because the, the string or thread, whatever we put on, is going to go underneath the paper. So this should be just fine. So I'm going to flip that back over. And I'm going to go ahead and close the brad, or open the brad rather, like so. And I'm just going to give that a good push to get it as flat as I can. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. Happy mistake. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put this on too. And then we're all covered up there. Because this is going to way it's going to close. It's going to go like this. So, oh, that's so beautiful. I love it, love it. Let's get this glued on and then we can move on. Getting the rest of this assembled in terms of getting our base papers on, and then we'll see how much time we have to actually um, decorate and put pockets and things on. We're only at 30 minutes, we should be good. I'm not concerned. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on here. And again, that this cut really weird, so, but again, I'm not gonna stre stress about it. It is what it is. Um, but that is that is absolutely gorgeous. I adore that. I adore that. Wow. So cool. Okay, so that side is covered. So we're going to go ahead and go over to this side. And um, let's see how that went. This is where it gets confusing. So it's going to open this way. This is going to be a pocket. So we're going to have our same deal with the those partial pieces so we're going to have this piece here 
and this is the one I didn't fix so hope I don't think I fixed it anyway and then we're gonna glue this one inside inside like that so let's just do that really quick I don't think you could go wrong with this paper. It's so absolutely gorgeous. And by the way, they run some pretty incredible sales. Like, they run sales at My Porch Prints that if you buy four kits, you get, or if you spend uh, $30, it's 30% off your order. If you spend $20, it's 20% off your order. And they run sales a lot. So they're really a great shop and, and so sweet, so talented. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and get this one on as well, right here. And let's just get her lined up before we press. Hopefully we're pretty good there. Yep. There we go. So I kind of wish I had come in here and inked. I wonder if I should just do that now. Maybe I'll do that now because I need that, I need that beauty, beautiful dark here. If you can even, I don't even know how well you can see it on craft. I don't usually work on this color of paper or cardstock or anything, so it's new for me. The rest of the inking we can do as we as we get towards the end. So, so again, it's going to go like this. It's going to close like that. That is beautiful. Not sure what I want to do with that um, that piece because I didn't I wasn't thinking about that being the front. So, because it is the front. Interesting. So, that is that. I think that something's backwards. Something feels backwards on this. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what feels wrong. It's not like that, because it's supposed to fold like that. Hmm. It's pretty, though. I like that. We're not going to decorate that one first, though. Let's go ahead and get some pockets on here. So we've got, this is our front, so we want our bits for the right side page pocket. So that's this side over here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some inking here. Uh, so if you'll just bear with me, I will um, cut that part out and be back with you in a moment. Okay, so I do need to do um, some coffee dyed backing on this because I forgot that this was not double. 
Actually, let me see if I've got one now that's double printed because it's it creates less bulk if I don't have to put copy dyed paper on the back. I just can't remember what I printed again last night. If I've got, I don't think I've got any that have that are printed on the back. But let's see. Let's see here. I've got a whole bunch of papers. Oh, maybe I do. Oh, I think I do. So last night I printed the, the ephemera again and I, I did coffee dye paper on the back. So I, I probably have one that I can use instead of that. Let's see. I prefer to have them double sided rather than the have the bulk of putting coffee dyed paper on the back. Oh, bummer. Doesn't appear that I do. What did I do? What did I do? Huh, that's weird. I must not have printed them all. So we're going to have to do some coffee dye paper on the back, which is okay. I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to grab a piece of paper here. It's not a big deal. And I'm just going to go ahead and, oh, that's really bright. I actually kind of like that little bit of pink. So we will put it on this side. That's a lot of pink. I don't want all that pink. So I'm going to glue this down um, this way. go that's better I'm gonna set that piece aside so let's go ahead and get this over here again we're gonna go ahead and, and as you noticed I I went ahead and cut my pockets I did my notches and all I think you guys all know how to do that so I didn't didn't need to really really cover that so we're gonna glue on three sides I like to hold my thumb here so that I know which side I don't want to put glue on because <laughs> um, I can get mixed up in a hurry so Put that right there at the bottom. And again, I, I pre-cut all this, so I looked at my panel size and then I just cut my pockets to, to fit within there, so just to make it easy. And then um, let's see if we can fold this now because I do need to get it in the pocket. Let's see if that works. Get that a good press. Get my bone folder here. So, and it's just a little booklet. And I love that it has just that little tinge of pink because there is some, I think I covered it up, but there is a little bit of pink in this design. So I think it's really cool. So that little book is gonna go right there. Gorgeous. And then I thought I'd do a, just a little bit of embellishing, nothing too, uh, too um, extreme here. But I am gonna get just a little bit of lace. If you've been watching me at all, you know that I do like my lace embellishing so I'm going to grab some out of my my bin here or something to put under it I use various things I really like this one though but this is this this is good uh, well hmm I kind of like that I kind of like that. I'm just going to get those extra strings off. I just like a little bit of lace behind this stuff just because I think it adds a lot. I'm going to put it on this side though because that's where less of the the bulk is for... Oh, you know what? Do I want to put it down first? Like so and then like that. Yeah, I think I want to do that. So I've got my Fabri-Tac out here. I'm going to go ahead and use that to get the the lace down. I'm going to put it right here on the paper. There we go. Just like
like so. And then we're going to put our little ticket here. And again, I'm just going to use the Fabri-Tac because part of this is going to go on the lace. And I'm just going to put it right there. Just a little bit of embellishing, nothing too bulky. And then I just love this breathe in. It's just a good reminder for me. So I'm going to put it here. Um, actually, it's going to be a problem there. Maybe I should go off here or here where there's not the lace. I think I'll go up there because that lace could be problematic for this adhering and staying down because it's at a different level uh, on the surface. Just put it right here. Simple embellishment. Breathe in. These are kind of the messages that I'm going to be telling myself as I try to work through this journal. So, um, okay, so now we've got our second pocket, which is this one. And this is the middle section. So, I'm going to just take all my paper clips off here and see what we've got going on. Take it slow. I'm going to go ahead and ink this stuff really quick and I will. Uh, speed that up or cut it out one thing or the other okay so our we are inked up here so I'm going to go ahead and glue my pocket on just using the big glue because I'm in a hurry I'm not I don't have a lot going into this pocket so I'm not too concerned about it <clears throat> so we're going to put that one here a little bit wide. Why is it wide? Well, it's all right. We're gonna just roll with it. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. The gal that did the video, she actually did the the pockets with the little flaps so that you don't lose kind of the real estate that's inside and you get a little bit more room for your ephemera. So um, I'm not gonna coffee dye back these just for the sake of time. I'm just gonna slide that in there, and I will put a tie on this one later as well. Uh, probably before I do the the, um, the photos, but we're going to stick that in there. And then we're going to do the same here. We're going to do a little bit of, uh, that one's a little bit samey samey there, isn't it? Um, hmm. Let me see what else I've got here that I can kind of play with and exchange here. I might find something I like a little bit better for this pocket. Yeah, I like that. Um, the other one that another ticket in another word seems a little bit too samey samey for pockets next next to each other so oh, where'd the other piece go there it is I just cut a circle out of the paper and this one I just used a, a, a hole punch that I have I love that yeah I love that so let's let's decide how we want this to go Kind of maybe like that and then our word can go here so I think we'll just glue this one on and then go from there just trying to center it as much as I can here Not being too too concerned about it I'm gonna try to find another piece of that lace or something similar that will be good. Oh, this is my favorite right here. This is my lace. I love this wide weave. I use it all the time. It's different than that one. But beautiful all the same. So let's see what we want to do here. If we want to it's a little bit too too big. Let's just cut that down a little bit. Go ahead and get my Hmm. I wonder if we can slide this under. Nope. It's okay. Just gonna we're just gonna go with it. I didn't plan that out very well. Just gonna get some fabric tack down here. Just put that lace just right there. Just just to be beautiful. Maybe I'll go off to this side with the, the thing and do the word up here. I think that's what I'll do. Have her tack again. <clears throat> um, I think I'm going to go a little high there. That's so beautiful. Oh, 
such a beautiful kit. I do want to do this. I do want to do um, take it slow on this one. I think I switched out those other sentiments, but I think I want this one on here. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. It's going to go right here. That is just beautiful and so simple. Wow. I think I wonder if I have a piece of sorry or uh, seam binding that will that will go with that. Um, I think I do. Let's just get that done while we're here. Let's just get it done. Got a piece of seam binding. This will be pretty. We don't want anything too bulky. So we're just going to thread that through that hole like so. And since this is my journal, I may come back and coffee dye back the put some coffee dye paper on the back of these. Um, we'll see. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but it's okay. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so, um, so this one, I think I I don't remember what I was gonna do with this one. The pocket. Oh, this is the ephemera for the front pocket. So let's go ahead and work on that. This video is going to be a little long, guys, so I hope you don't mind that. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and ink this stuff up. Okay, so those are inked up. So it's just a journaling card, and again, I will be coming back and putting some coffee dyed paper on the back of these because I don't personally like to walk right on that stark white um, paper. So there we've got that, and we've got a little... Is this going to work? I don't know if the ta that's going to work. Um, I may leave this one out and and depending on how bulky this gets I may add some other stuff to this later but for now we're just gonna we're gonna be good with this I think I can go ahead and use these bits on this other um, this other panel now since it's separated from this one I feel a little bit better about it uh, maybe up here where it's a little bit more bare so we need another little piece of this lace I hope this isn't the pink lace. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't be terrible if it was, but. What do we want to do here? Uh, I don't want too much. I try to avoid getting too much bulk in this area. Maybe we'll just do something there. Make this a little bit. I think I'm going to get a part of the weave that's a little bit looser. That's a little bit easier to um, to have them sit on top of. If that makes any sense, like that. And then hmm. I think I'll just do that. So I think we'll put our lace here. And you again, guys, you decorate these however suits you. Like I, I tend to really like to give a lot of detail to it, but you certainly don't have to do that. Love that. And then we've got the word beautiful, and I think I'll put that right on that lace. That'll be gorgeous. Just sweet messages to the self. It's good. Good to remind ourselves that we're beautiful, that we can take it slow, that we can breathe. Oh, that's lovely. I'm just going to close this just because I want to look at it. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. Wow. That's interesting how that turned out on the front, though. I didn't expect that. I must have done something wonky that this ended up being. This was It was supposed to be a full panel there, so... Um, so guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here because I'm basically going to do the same thing on the other side and you can see, you'll be able to all take photos of everything and you'll be able to see the other side, um, in the close up videos over on uh, my blog, as well as at the end of the video. So I think we'll just call it a day here and just say, uh, I say thank you for joining me. Thank you for 
being with me as I fuss through this. It's always challenging to try something for the first time and to, and to do it on camera is, is tricky. So I thank you for your, uh, for your patience and I hope that you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and check out the other videos of the gals that actually did this for like, I don't know if they were the ones that came up with it, but I certainly did not. I basically just take ideas off of YouTube and I make my own variation of it. So thank you guys so much. Bye-bye.